What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video here on Met Central. And the Mets signed two relievers, and we're going to talk about it in Dylan Covey as well as Chris Davinsky. Before we jump into everything, please be sure to leave a like on the video if you do enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new, especially if you're Met fans, and turn on your notifications so you know when I upload or go live on the channel. So, yeah, David Stern's already getting to work acquiring a couple of relievers. Davinsky being on the minor league deal and then Covey on a major league deal, which I did find very interesting. But yeah, let's just break these two down as I'm interested by both arms, more so Covey. But I, either way, I'm interested because when the Mets get relievers with the way the pitching lab has been, I'm definitely interested. But Davetsky, I don't really expect much from a guy that has been fluctuating up and down within the major leagues and minor leagues. Unless there's injuries there because he only, had nine, he only uh, came into 19 games throwing 26 innings last year and the numbers not great you look at the baseline stuff and it's really not where you want it to be you look at things like his whip being at a 1.75 his fit being at a 7.33 and then you look at the strikeout numbers 8.1 strikeouts per nine 4.7 walks per nine and then you look at the era and it's 6.75 but you go the year prior and again nine games the numbers a lot better with an era just over two and then you just keep going back, and it's been at least somewhat serviceable, the numbers, but obviously not particularly great. So that's why he's getting a minor league deal. And in terms of if you look at fan graphs, in terms of the numbers there, he's a negative war player last year. And again, just really not great stuff. And then you go to Savant, and there's really not a whole lot of red there. It's really a lot of blue outside of the fact that he gets a good amount of whiffs every now and then. And his pitch mix in terms of what he throws, he throws a change up four seam cutter and sweeper. And really only like two of those pitches are actually decent, at least that, you know, has data to it over the past few years. And it's really mostly the sweeper as well as his change up. And David Stearns loves to acquire pitchers that throw sweepers. And one of those pitches that is good is that. So maybe there is a way they could work to get him to develop another pitch or maybe just even cut out a couple pitches and get him to be a three, uh, two, three pitch guy. Maybe that's possible. I'm not entirely sure because it's going to be hard to get by with throwing just the sweeper as well as throwing just the change up. But if he could get his four seam a little bit right, maybe that will help out. But Again, there are some things that are interesting about him, but again, it is a minor league deal at the end of the day, so I'm not going to spend too much time talking about him. But yeah, that's really all I got with that. And then Dylan Covey, who I am more intrigued to talk about because he is signing to a major league deal, which again, is a little head scratching to me because he did spend the entire season in the minor leagues because of the fact that he has been dealing with some injuries. And in terms of his numbers in the minor leagues this past year, actually very good stuff. If you look at uh, the you know home runs per nine, only 0.4, 0 0.4 that is. You look at the walks per nine though, that's where there's a little bit of issues, 4.0. Doesn't strike too many batters out, but 8.4 is at least respectable. In 20 innings of work, he had a 2.66 ERA in the minor leagues with a 1.23 FIP. So again, a little bit up and down the numbers. And in terms of looking at his last season in the major leagues, which was 2023 with the Phillies, where he uh, came into 28 games and got 39 innings of work, had a 3.69 ERA, a 1.513 FIP, uh, or sorry, WHIP, a FIP of 4.26. That would be disgusting if that was his FIP. Um, home runs per 9.7. So again, doesn't really allow the long ball too much. Uh, again, really the issue here is walks and he doesn't strike too many batters out. And in terms of if you look at the stuff on Baseball Savant in terms of his pitch mix, he does throw a lot of different pitches. And I think that is something that they could work on. He primarily throws uh, five different pitches. He can throw a change up in four seam, but primarily utilizes the sinker, the cutter, slider, split finger and sweeper. And again, another sweeper guy, but unironically, it's probably not his best pitch, honestly his sweeper, but on top of that as well, his cutter is not particularly great. Uh, he does seem to allow a lot of um, contact there and doesn't generate too many whiffs on the uh, that pitch. But again, the sinker, very good, um, or solid at least. I shouldn't say very good, it's solid. So it is an interesting project of an arm, if you will, at 33 years old. And again, a guy that is coming back from injuries. And as we've seen in years prior, it really doesn't matter if the guy signed to a major league deal because we saw guys uh, like 
Michael Talk, and I think he signed a major league deal last year, ended up getting cut. Obviously, Jorge Lopez signs that major league deal, and obviously there was drama that ensued with that, and that's why he got cut. But there is, of course, that factor that they could just cut ties with any of these arms if they do feel the need to and feel the want to as we progress throughout the season next year. Because like David Sturz has mentioned, time in and time out, bullpens are so volatile like you're not going to finish with the same bullpen from opening day by the end of the season because injuries arise and then of course the fact that some guys just don't thrive that you might think thrive and vice versa guys thrive that you didn't expect to so I am interested to see because he does at least have a little bit of velocity with his fastball and doesn't allow too much hard contact so maybe it is just a thing where if they could find a way to uh, juice up the velocity a little bit, which again, I don't know if they're going to be able to, or at least maybe get him to utilize his off-speed uh, stuff a little bit better. Maybe there's something there with Covey, but I'm not entirely sure what they're going to get from him, and I'm not entirely sure if he's going to be a viable arm because this is a guy that also was pitching overseas not too long ago as well in 2021-22, and I believe, no, just 2021-22, sorry. He was pitching overseas as well, so there is that factor to it because before then, he was really not that great, but he did have a couple of solid seasons. Like uh, There was a good season in the minor leagues with the White Sox, a couple of good seasons there. Um, yeah, I'm only looking at the minor league stuff. That's why I was uh, saying that because when you filter it, not exactly the best stuff, actually. But either way, um, I'm interested to see what these arms become. I'm very interested anytime the Mets uh, sign any sort of pitchers because of the things that I mentioned before, of course. But yeah, let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a like if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you know when I upload or go live on the channel next. And I'll see you guys in the next one.